here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Prevet. Bodies do the talking. Sloppy Double Dare. I'm Jim J. Bullock. I'm your host, but we'll get back to that later. First, let's meet our blue team. Here we have Harvey, who works 20-hour days and grows hair for hobby. Har Harvey, what else can you t tell us about yourself? Uh, no, hardly anything. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I react really badly to cold, sudden cold temperatures. I know that. Uh, You're going to be fantastic at <laughs> this, Harvey. <laughs> Teresa, y you, what can you tell us about yourself? You like turtles, don't you? Well, I used to have a turtle farm when I was little. Well, what happened to it? Well, we only had them for like some... Mm-hmm, we'll and talk we... about that later. <laughs> and over to our blue team, here we have, oh, of course... Red, Jim. I'm, red. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, red, blue, red, red, I'm so confused. On the red team, we have Mark Summers, who is the reincarnated Elvis... Thank you. ...and Baker of Bread. What does it feel like to be a contestant on your own show, Mark? This is really strange. I don't, now, you hosted Hollywood Squares, right? Yes, I did for two weeks. Now, what did that feel like? I had you? a nervous breakdown, but I'm back now. I'm okay. <laughs> That's really. how I feel right I'm now. I'm okay. <laughs> and Gary, Gary and I are going to beat the pants out of Harvey and that other person over there. Oh, well, we'll see about <laughs> we'll see. that. Gary, you want to be a teacher someday? Is that what I hear? Yes. Yeah, well, great. Well, I hope you do your very best. Okay, now, let me explain the rules of this game. And First off, I, I, I want to tell you, I've watched your show a lot. I'm a real fan of it, so I think I got the rules down really pat. So oh, good. The yeah. rules are basically you get three squares across down di or diagonally, <laughs> and the first game is worth five hundred dollars. Second game is worth a thousand dollars, and the winner of that gets to go for a car. <laughs> that's, that's the wrong show, I think. Who wants, who wants yeah. to be oh, the well, first? you know the it. rules. You know the rules. So let's just get to the first question. Let me find out here, okay? okay. And the toss-up was won by you guys. No, no, right? we got it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm got cheating it. Cheating from the very beginning. I know, no, no, no. I got to win. We have twenty dollars. Okay, here's your first question. Okay. You guys watch cartoons, right? Oh yeah. Okay, on the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. What is the name of the kid who is friends with the animals? On, we dare. You dare. Okay, on the New Adventures of the Winnie Pooh, what is the name of the friends with the animals? <laughs> uh, Christopher? I need a full name. Christopher Robin. Oh, wonderful, oh, wonderful. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Fabulous. Harvey, a man your age shouldn't be watching cartoons, I have a feeling. <laughs> okay, Harvey, you guys get to go again, right? Yeah, right? Am control. I right here? Okay. Uh, in, in the movie, what was the full name of Harvey's pal played by Jimmy Stewart? Oh, I know that. Huh? Huh? In the movie, what was the full name of Harvey's pal? Played by Jimmy Stewart. Elwood P. Dowd. I don't believe this! I bet I do. Another $10. Whoa! Huh? They're whizzing through this, you guys! Okay, you get to go again. Okay, according to the World Almanac, a light whisper is 10 decimals. A jet plane at, at takeoff is 100 decimals. What is 50 decimals? Is it A, rock music, B, light traffic, or C, a typewriter cranking out a hilarious episode of Mr. Belvedere? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, C doesn't exist, so let's see. There's a... Uh, <laughs> I see. Um, Time I think it should dare us. That's what I think. Uh, we dare. Okay. So okay. Uh, you know, you got the question. Rock music, yeah, like traffic, typewriter. Uh, double dare? Double dare. We double dare. I think uh, okay, you Okay, you know the question. Challenge. I'm going to repeat it. Go. Uh, physical challenge. <laughs> All right. Well, it's typewriter. That's the answer to the question. Time for our first physical challenge. Let's go down. 
Okay, okay. guys. What we're basically going to do here is, is make pancakes. So, Harvey, I think this would be a good place for you to come right over here. Let's scoot right That's over here. That's a great here. place for and Harvey And you hold to be, this. And what you're going to do, you're going to stand right there for a while. Okay, stay there. And you're going to come over here, and you're going to get these pancakes. You're going to dip them in the syrup, okay? And then you're going to throw the pancakes over here. And he's got to catch three pancakes in this. And then at the end of that, we like to put whipped cream on top of the pancakes. So you reach behind, you grab this, and put some whipped cream on. Okay, you ready? Any questions? Okay, on your mark. Just three in 20 seconds. Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Harvey should get back, he's too close, he's too close. Back. Boy, it seems like the red team over here, you guys did everything you were supposed to do in the pancake thing, and you got 40 more points, and now you're up, up to 70. And let me take a little minute to say why I'm doing this show. I don't know why, although, <laughs> uh, but they tell me I'm doing this because a lot of cards and letter came in. They wanted to see Harvey and Mark do the show and get all gunked up and everything. So uh, they needed someone to play host for a day, so they asked me because I was yes, you're dry work. now, Mr. But Ford, anyway, we'll go on to our first question, we'll our third, our fourth. You. Anyway, you guys get this next question. Okay, okay here's your question. Right. Add the number of kids oh, on good. Growing Pains with the kids on Kate and Alley and subtract the kids on Roseanne. What do you come up with? Dare. <laughs> Add the number of kids on Kate and Alley and Growing Pains and this, and what do you come up with? I think it's three. Oh, too bad. Oh, oh you're kidding me. Oh, How many was it? It's four. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, well, I'm so, so sorry. Angry. I'm so sorry. Now, in this case, do I go to the next question? No, you, you go over there okay. to Harvey because yeah. I messed up. I won't talk to the losers anymore. I'm going to talk to the winners. Okay. Oh, oh, boy. Who does the rap song Going Back to Cali? Uh, can you repeat the question? Who does the rap song Going Back to Cali? What is rap music? Uh, dare. We dare. Uh, do you know? Who does rap song Going Back to Cali? Double Dare. Well, <laughs> he said double dare. Yeah, what, we'll, we'll let him go. Don't okay, double dare. Who goes there? Cali. Physical challenge. Can I guess who it is? Physical challenge. Oh my no, who heavens! Was it? What, who was it? Was it DJ Jazzy Jeff? In the no, future? you idiot. It was LL Cool J. Let's oh, go down to our physical challenge. <laughs> All right. I got taken down the road again. Okay, here we are at the pie machine. Now, basically, what we're going to do is a lot of fun because there's a little machine that makes pies out, and the pies are already made with a little ready-made cr uh, red crust here. And I think I'd like for you to come over here, Teresa, and put the cherries on the pie as they come by one by one. And then what, you're, what, what you need to do, Harvey, you need to pick up the pies and put them in the bucket here. But you don't pick up the pies with your hands. You pick them up with your face. <laughs> Won't that be fun? <laughs> All right. Now, you need, to get three, Mark, yeah. <laughs> you need to get three pies in here. Four pies four in there. Pies. Excuse I me. Like four this, pies Harvey. in there in 20 Wait, seconds. How do, how do I pick them up? With your face, like this, and you can use your hands to take them off. Okay? Are you ready? You understand? No hands ever. No, no hands, hands Harvey. Uh, do you take the pie off? Yes, you can t t take the pie off, but put them in the face. Yeah, yeah you got it? Okay? Yes, yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. On your mark, get <laughs> set, go! <laughs> Back up here, I think. You see, Jim. Yes. Harvey's got a lot of money put away. He certainly does yeah, have a lot of money because, put away. Uh, and what a pretty face. He may face be making that his final indeed. appearance on this program. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need all the winnings, boy, because my career is done now. We beat Mark. <laughs> 130 to 20. Okay, so you guys got, I don't know how many points there they, did they pick up. They picked up 40. They picked up 40 more points, so I guess they get to the next question. All right, let's go to our next question. Uh, one of the famous Double Dare games was pulled out uh, at the last season with an incredible. What? What? I'm sorry. Well, one of them was pulled out at the last second, I think, is what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, last one second. of the famous Double Dare games <laughs> was pulled out at the last second with an incredible answer. What was the year? What year was the Boston Tea Party? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how frightening you look. Um, this is really scary. 
<laughs> a dare. Okay, what year was the Boston Tea Party? Now you're a young man who goes to school and, and just studies all this stuff, and you probably know when the Boston Tea Party Come was. Come on, Jerry, you? you know, 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 Double dare. Double dare, okay. Okay, what was the year of the Boston Tea Party? Tea Party, I mean. Total doofus is here. Ah, je n'ai pas le temps pas toi. Physical challenge. Another physical challenge! The answer is 1773. Where have you been? <laughs> Let's go down here. Okay. Now, this one's really basically quite simple. What you need to do, you need to arrange these pipes in order so that they will take the water from the big tank, daddy tank, down to the little baby tank, okay? So that's basically you just put the, the you want to, you know, just funnel the water down to the, now remember you want to get beyond the red line. So why don't you guys have 30 seconds to do this in, so you're going to arrange, any questions about this? No, no, I think so. On your mark, get set, go! So much. All right. Oh, God. oh well, that's the end of our first round. So, golly gee, I guess we'll be back in just a little bit more for more wacky fun. See you next. Super Sloppy Devil there to our second round, and let me explain to some of you, when you, this is where your, your dollar amount doubles, and when you hear this sound, that means you get to go for a car, and it's the end of the game. But right now, what we're going to do here is you guys got these little lovely hats on top of your heads to make more fools out of you, and you're going to swim over and try to get those filled up with water beyond the red line. So you ready? Understand that? On your mark, get set, go! I'm going to go right through the back of this set. Okay. Uh, we're back up we, here. We got it. And right? they got it. Mark, you, you are... Red we get $40. Way to go, Gary. Yes, nice job. You actually have right. a chance to pull yourself out of this big hole you've dug yourself into. We can do it. Okay, Mark, what's your favorite dessert? Uh, <laughs> my favorite dessert... <laughs> That's fantastic. You know, the <laughs> residents of Portland, Oregon, they, what do they do? Do they eat 60 cents percent more Campbell's soup than the national average? Or do they eat more cheddar cheese and nacho soup than any other city? Or C, do they complain the most about all these stupid soup questions? See, my favorite... Uh... Dessert is soup. Uh, obviously, that's why that question is there. I dare, uh, don't you? Yes. You, they dare. They, they, they dare. Let's go see. Could you repeat the question? Oh, sure, I certainly will. <laughs> like, you're going to know uh, this, are The residents of Portland, Oregon do what? Do they eat 60% 60, 60 more Campbell's soup than the national average? Do they eat more cheddar cheese and nacho soup than any other city? Or do they complain most about these stupid soup questions? Uh, double dare. Oh, please. Oh, uh, we'll the take the physical challenge, Jim. Oh, boy, they're going to go for that physical challenge. Let's go. Oh, boy, this is my favorite. This is a good one. Okay, 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 okay. This is for all you couch potatoes. Mark, uh, you should know something about this, yes? Okay, Mark, why don't you come over here, sit down in this lovely sofa chair we have, very padded, heavy budget here. Sit yeah, sit down there, shut up, and have a, have a bite to eat, doll. Okay, now you're going to come over here, and you know what you're going to do? Uh, yeah, let's move this up. I don't think it's quite close enough. There we go. Maybe this is a little closer. Just a little bit closer. Teeny weeny bitty closer. Okay. Now, your job, Gary, is you're going to throw at that, uh, see that little target there? You're going to throw these mashed potato balls and uh, see if you can hit that target. And you have to hit it within 20 seconds. And are you ready? Yeah, on your mark. Get set. You're right. Come on up. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. Come on. Good job, Gary. Good job. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody puked on me. You really got it there, Mark. That's a lovely look for you. You might even start a whole new fashion trend. You never know. 
Oh, I told okay. you Harvey would come from behind. On the Cosby Show, it's common knowledge that Cliff is a doctor. That's right. I That's know right. That. Okay, but his wife Claire has a job out of the office, right? Right. She, she's a lawyer. So our real question is, how many total miles of shoreline exist along the Atlantic coast of the United States, according <laughs> to the U.S. Commercial Department? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm not serious, and this show isn't serious either. Bye bye <laughs> now, folks. Uh, uh, Gary, you want to dare them, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah. dare. Over to you, blue team. A uh, double dare. Uh, who cares about that answer anyway? Okay, well, the game is over, and it looks like you guys are our winner, the red team. Yes, we beat Harvey. We All beat right, guys, but, but calm down. I want you to know. That there is no loser in today's show because, as in life, there is no loser. So you both are going to win, right. and what Harvey and Mark are going to do, they're going to play the obstacle course. You guys are going to split the prizes, and we'll be back for more fun, more fabulous friends, and two minutes and two seconds. Something like that. Anyway, don't go away. And welcome back to the super sloppy obstacle course. Yes, Mark, stop playing with those balls and you. I'm going to slap you on the head again because I don't like it. Okay, here's the object of this course. Of course, I don't know why I'm telling you guys. You know this already. Mark, you're going to jump into that ball of balls. You're going to come out, grab the flag. When you come out, you're going to pass it to them. And when you pass it to them, they're going to win this. Jim, it's that Franklin Nordwist. Don't look it up. Point number questions to Nathan Nordwist. It's the correct spell of 80,000 words by Miriam Webster. And here we're at the Lake Double Dare. What we're going to do here is you're going to get in this boat, go across, try not to get your feet wet because it makes you slippery. If you get that flag, you'll win this. It's Mead Binoculars. Mead High Resolution Binoculars with multicolored optics for the brightest, sharpest images obtainable. Precision optics from the leader, Mead Instruments. And here we are at the Ear in One. It's a lot of fun. It's got a lot of ear wax in it, and they're telling me to be long. Take my long time with the long words. And Mark, what you're going to do is you're going to go through this long ear tunnel. You're going to wrap that long flag with all that loopy wax. And if you get that wag, then you know what? You're going to get a chance to win this. It's Farrah Boys Wear Farrah. Here we are at Thar She Blows. And what do you call these things, Mark? A valves. That's right. You call them valves. And you're going to try to punch one of those valves. A flag's going to spew. I mean, a flag's going to spew out. A flag's going to spew out. And if you get that flag, you'll win this. It's a new bike. A lot. A new popularly priced lightweight bike by Murray. Featuring 12 speeds, fully loaded frame, and three-piece crank. A lot by Murray. Ride with the winner. And then we're over here where it's called the ringer, and you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna jump in this ringer. You're gonna be rung through, and again, I've got to make my time. Let me tell you about a little bit myself. I was born in Wyoming, and I grew up in Texas. But then you're gonna come out here. You're gonna go through all this gunk. It's nice and tasty, mm, delicious and lovely. And grab this flag, and if you get that flag, you'll win this. Encyclopedia Britannica. From the editors of Encyclopedia Britannica comes Children's Britannica. Easy to use and understand with exciting color pictures. That's Children's Britannica. And here we are at the fabulous moonwalk. Shut up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through this moonwalk, and you're going to go through that hole. You're going to come out this hole, and you're going to grab this flag. And if you grab that flag, this flag right here, you'll win this. It's the Casio Digital Guitar from Casio. The DG10 Digital Guitar features include 12 instrument sounds and 12 background rhythms. DG10 has 20 fret neck and sustain reverb effects. And here we are at number seven, the cage. Which, if you go in here, if you ring this fabulous bell, you, uh, a lot of stuff will come down, a flag will come down. If you get that flag, then you're going to win what? Jim, it's a Zenith VCR. Full feature, and easy to use. A Zenith VCR feature, and easy to use. Index search system, five-speed clear motion, and our motion that controls both VCR and TV. And here we are again at the tank. And you know what? This tank is filled with lovely gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons of jello and all kind of lovely whipped cream and little jimmies. See the little jimmies right there? They're very fantastic and fabulous. And if you win this, you're gonna go all the way through there. You're gonna walk up. Let's walk very slow because we gotta spread our time out. <laughs> We're having such fun here. No, really, folks. You're gonna grab this flag. And if you grab this flag, why don't you tell us what we're gonna win then? It's a fantastic Port of Vallarta vacation. You'll stay at the Fiesta Americana Port of Vallarta overlooking Van Dara Day. With the luxe accommodations, continental and traditional cuisine, play water sports, or just relax in the sun from Fiesta American Port of Vallarta. Yours if you do it all from Super Fluffy Double Dare. Okay, we're over here at the gumball machine, and are you ready, Harvey? Yes, and Mark, are you almost up there? Well, 
He's got to. He's got to go up the ladder. Well, go up the ladder. He wants to start at the bottom. Well, Mr. Know It All from reading a lot of books, start at the bottom. All right, on your mark, get set, go. I've gained a new appreciation for what these kids go through on this thing. What's that? On the balls? What? Oh, the balls? Oh, going through the, uh, the gumball machine was absolutely the most bizarre. Well, that looks like a lot of fun. Harvey, you look like some parfait. How do you feel? I hate this job. <laughs> Jim, you did a great job. Thanks for being here. Thank you there. so much for having me. We'll see y'all later on the Double Day! Consideration provided by Reebok. Each contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, Reebok the, the official shoe of Super Sloppy, Sloppy Double Dare. Dare.